What up, y'all? Real quick before we get going, I want to tell y'all over at DucksWaterfowl.com, we are doing 50% off the entire site all of this week, Monday through Sunday. And I wanted to say this before we get going as well. This video contains a little bit of graphic content. Viewer discretion is advised. Uh, this is my first hog hunt that I've ever done. It was very exciting. Hog hunting is extremely legal in Texas. You do not have to have a hunting license to do it. They are overrun. They are a nuisance animal, just like pigeons. All of those pigeon hunts, same thing, but they're way worse. They tear up farmer's ground tremendously, costing farmers and landowners a tremendous amount of money every single year. Just wanted to clarify that this is night hunting. I am with professionals my first time being Amon Teen and Estian. Big shout out to Amon Teen. Go follow his channel right here and follow him on Instagram. One of my great friends. It's so nice to meet a guy like him that takes a sport like this so serious. Thank you again to Amon Teen. Thank you Estian. Thank you to iRay and Ultimate Night Vision. Let's roll it. Well, I'm in Texas. The first thing we gotta fix. I brought my Kansas Slick with me. Blew a tire. Here we are. Start of a good old night of pig hunting. What up, y'all, and welcome back to another one. I am in Texas. I am in eastern Texas with Anthony Amentine. Y'all met Anthony Amentine. Oh, uh, that would have been early January, late December. He came up uh, for a waterfowl hunt uh, with the guide service. But we're with the Texas killer himself. Uh, Amentine works for uh, Ultimate Night Vision. Um, so we're going to have some awesome IR optics tonight. Uh, we're going to have, we're going to be using uh, full thermal uh, with recording capabilities. So I'm hoping the footage that we get tonight, actually I'm not hoping, I know if we shoot some pigs, we're going to have some amazing footage tonight. That's first and foremost. But this is my first pig hunt and Amentine's like, you're taking the first shot. It's kind of like what we do at Sand Hill. If we have a kid or a young man and it's his first duck or goose hunt, we always let him shoot the first one. So very special hunt. I'm with my good buddy, Nick, uh, and uh, Eamon team and one of his buddies. I believe I'm gonna be using 7.62 tonight suppressed, I believe. He's got a plethora of beautiful weaponry. So we'll look at all that. Uh, just, I wanted to let you guys know before we get going here, yes, this is a night hunt. But with the uh, recording capability out of these IR setups, it is going to be amazing. They record so crisp. So stick around. Yes, the footage is going to get awesome. I promise. This, isn't your, this will not be your normal nighttime not being able to see anything on a video hog hunt. So enough talking. Let's go. I am pumped if you can't tell. Oh, and... I wasn't expecting to do this. I'm actually down here for a uh, doctor's appointment in Dallas tomorrow. And I just hit him up on a whim and he was like, yep, Bob, let's go. So I didn't bring any cameras. I got my phone and I got the recordable scope. So I'm excited what the night's gonna bring. It's gonna be a very long night. I'll keep you all updated as we go. Damn, this phone sucks. <laughs> I need my camera. Yo, my all right. Well, we got situated with the trailer issue. A uh, little tip for y'all, if you buy a new trailer, make sure it's the right, your spare tire, make sure that that rim is this right lug the, pattern. The, right the lug manufacturer pattern. done messed up and put the wrong lug pattern spare on this front of this trailer. Pretty bad. Well, Pretty bad. here we go, I told you. Aiming team does not mess around, and I mean does not mess around. He's gonna have to explain what all is going on here. All right. Uh, you can go quick. We, we do it real quick. We got it. We're gonna have pigs right behind us, possibly. Um, you know, this is thermal hunting, night hunting, uh, night vision, and uh, this is all thermals, uh, high ray. So we got high ray bolt TL35, another TL35, and then uh, this is an RL42 uh, PWS762 by 39, 16 inch with a Nomad 30 on there. Hyper fire trigger. We're gonna be shooting two ammunition out of this. This is a custom bolt gun from Long Rifles Inc. They're out of Sturgis. This is a 20 inch 6.5 Creedmoor with an Otter Creek PR30L bolt TL35 from IRA with when, a trigger tag. When you're in Kansas, I think that I showed the people that gun. Yeah, you brought that yeah. gun. It's one of my favorite bolt guns to shoot, and it's this one right here. And uh, 
we have another 6.5 Creedmoor semi-automatic. This is the uh, PWS MK218. So it's got an 18 inch barrel with another Otter Creek hydrogen and an RL42. This is the one Nick's gonna be on. So Nick will be on this rig night. Bobby, you will be on the 762 by 39. I got my helmet here. So Team Wendy with dual MH25. So we got dual thermals on here. Uh, Estian's coming back. He's got a truck over there. He's got PBS 14 and thermal on his helmet as well. So we're gonna be driving around uh, for a lot of money. <laughs> Dude, this is a whole new world. When you came up for waterfowl hunting, you're like, Bob, this is amazing what you guys do, but you really got to come down. If you, especially if you've never done it, you're a yeah. big hunter. I'm yeah. excited, dude. It's two different worlds. So, the the whole bird hunting thing, what I experienced up there, that's that's up there on the top, you know, of, of you know, experiencing the whole bird hunting waterfowl thing. And I just knew that once you got a taste of this, uh, you're gonna get hooked. It's we're gonna, gonna be game over. We're gonna see a pig, or we're gonna see a ton of pigs. Right. But something's gonna happen. We uh we drove two and a half hours to this spot up here so yeah it should be good to go should be good to go he said it's the hot spot yeah this is the hot spot so you see all this is new to me all this is new to yeah me. so tripods are going to help you steady so you know when we got you know we're running the shotgun and you're showing them the shot cam and you got a little right. bit of shaky footage it's even worse with rifles you're going to be all over the place when you're shooting free-handed right tripods just make things a lot more accurate and sturdy um you, you're, you're going to love it. We'll get you set up on your height. We'll get the rig set up. Yep. And we're going to go find some food. We got to get on the run here. That's the rundown, guys. Um, Nick, got anything to add? Yeah, I'm just uh, glad our tire blew out. We were a little close. <laughs> yeah. Like halfway here. <laughs> yeah. You know? we, yeah, it was a two and a half hour drive. It could have blown out two hours ago. Yes. Tonight. It would have been bad. Yeah. Bad. Real bad. What's going on tonight, Bob? How do I look? You look like a goon. I look like a night goon. A goon of the night. Yeah. Oh, maybe your boots. You got new mug boots. Dude, I'm new boot goofing. New boot goofing. <laughs> Hit him again, Bobby. Go for the head. He All right. Andrew. What's up? What's up? He, he did. He did. Holy shit. No. My scope died. Your scope died? Holy shit. All right. Andrew. What's up? What's up? He, he did. He did. Holy shit. No. My scope died. Your scope died? Holy shit. You know what's fucking off? Hold on. Reef wall like my group fucking off. Reef wall like my group fucking off. Oh my god. I'm going to have to get you a new scope. When I come back, I'll bring you a new stuff, okay? Oh, I don't know if you come out. He knew we were here. Dude, he was staring right dude. at you. <laughs> awesome. It's when you walk up, you're, you're, you're... That's all he wants. The corn. That's what he wants. Wow, dude, that was so sick. <laughs>
Oh, we just mobbed on them. Check this out. That's a big one. What do you think it was? 50 yards? Bad, just pumping right. You said, "Keep going, yeah. keep going." Yeah. If, he's, if he's standing up or fighting a little bit, just keep double tapping him until he stops. Yeah, the ethical way to do it. Yeah, for sure. Well, there we go. Hope you guys enjoyed that one. That was the first of the night. What time is it? It is unfortunately 11 o'clock, and because of the blowout, we had a slow start. <laughs> <laughs> Woo, buddy! That was just as Badass as I imagined it would be. <laughs> got some decent. Yeah, you got some decent ones. Dang. How much you think he weighs? Guesstimate? Yeah. Es Estian gets to play with Estian gets to play with a lot of heavy ones, so we're gonna let Estian take the guess here. What are you think? I'm gonna say 250. 250. 250. That's what I would. That's what I would have said. 240. 250. Dude, in the thermal, he looked so big. <laughs> he looked. I mean, right just ass. around. Yeah. When you when you, so when you adjusted, you told me to go left. Yeah. I was like, "Where's he at, dude?" And he was right. He was right way on. closer than I thought he yeah. was. Yeah. Like you, I, when I was standing behind you, I saw your your, your, your scope instead of you was looking for him. Yeah. And I grabbed your shoulder and I moved you. And when I grabbed your shoulder, I grabbed your jacket. You heard it. Mm -hmm. You heard it. Yeah, I got to take my jacket off. It's too loud. It's too loud. That was amazing. Hit to the very front of him. You know what I mean? Like his head's to, to just. There you go. That's the double tap. 
There, <laughs> you had a misfire. Yeah. All right. He's done for sure. That last one knocked him over. <laughs> yeah. That looks like a big pig. He seems pretty solid. Oh, that's that's a decent pig. Yeah, it is. Look at the cut. He got cutters. Yeah, he does. Come on. Oh, those are good hit, boys. Dang. Awesome those shots. Those are good hits. <laughs> We do. So we got a hit here. We got a hit In there. The got a hit there, <laughs> and another hit here. Woo! Dude, he ate those. Yeah, he ate them up. He just laid right on over. He said, "Boys, I'm done." <laughs> 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 nice double tap. The way it came in. Woo! Yeah. yeah. That's gnarly. Whoever was aiming right here, that's a that's a hell of a shot. <laughs> oh lord. Well safe to say that your boy is addicted <laughs> i knew it was gonna happen i knew it uh i'm addicted to it uh, i cannot wait to go back down uh aim and team can't wait to have me back we can't wait to do more videos for you guys so right now before i say anything else if you guys enjoyed this one and if you want me to do it more i need you to smash a thumbs up and i need you to drop a comment down below and say yes bob go back to texas because if so, if you guys like this video enough, and I mean a lot, I'm going to invest in my own rig, uh, everything, everything. Amentine said he could hook me up with uh, a lot of those expensive recordable IR, iRay uh, scopes and cameras. So we could be doing it here at home for coyotes. So it's something that I want to pick up. Uh, it really interests me. I, I truly loved making this video because it was something new that I had never done and I was so ready. I was so focused that night. No messing around, no games. Thanks again. Gosh, thank you, uh, Amentine and Estian. Uh, I cannot thank you two enough. Um, Estian's property, that's where we were, and he does a ton of hog hunting, him and Amentine usually together, but he goes out on his own. Give these guys a follow on Instagram uh, right here. I will link uh, Amentine's YouTube down in the description below. Go subscribe to his channel. It's nothing but uh, info teaching you about these rifles and these IR setups, always showing you something new in the industry, and lo <laughs> lots of kill shots. Lots of kill shots. He's the man. Thanks again, Anthony. I can't thank you enough. I cannot wait to get back there. Again, give me your guys' feedback because I want to do this, truly. I think I found a new passion. I really do. I haven't had a fire burning like this in a long time. Back when I found duck hunting, it feels like. So you guys know that I like deer hunting, but I think I like hog hunting more. You know what I'm saying? I want to do something new. This could be it, but you guys got to want it. You guys got to want me to do it. If so, your boy's game. Again, remember over at duckswaterfowl.com and buckshunting.com, both of them, we are doing 50% off sales this entire week. I will link both of those websites down in the description below. And like we were talking about Sandhill Flyways, we are now booking clients for the 2022-23 season. If you're interested, sandhillflyways.com website is down in the description as well. Fill out the inquire to book form and come up here and hunt with your boy. Thank you all for being here. Subscribe if you haven't. Be expecting more hog hunting. I loved it. But until next time.